What's up, you beautiful people? I'm your host, the one and only Danger Dave, and welcome back to Alan Wake Remastered. So previously on Alan Wake, we rented a lodge here, and Alan is now currently making his way to Lover's Peak to meet the kidnapper of Alice. And that is currently where we stand. Just checking out a few cabins here, taking in the atmosphere. So let's move on. More of those feathery nuisances. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, that's right. We actually need to go up here. Because that is progress, but this is just an extra area. Do not feed wildlife. A hundred dollar penalty. Holy shit, they mean business here. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Oh, just the, the lights down there. Man, I can never get enough of this atmosphere. So very cool. Alright, so moving on now. No time to stop and smell the roses. Uh, we gotta get a giddy up in our step. Oh shit! Rusty, hang on! I'm coming! Help is on the way, Rusty! God damn, gotta work on my cardio. Hang on, Rusty, I gotta get coffee first. I got you, Rusty! Hang on, I'm coming and I'm bringing coffee! Hello? Back here! I'm back here! Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Oh, God. Looking at his leg. It. It'll be okay, buddy. It'll be okay. Ugh. Just the sight of that mangled leg of his just gave me the jibbajibbles. Okay, we're moving on. Hmm? They didn't leave anything behind for me, did they? I don't think they did. Okay. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. 
Oh, Rusty. It'll be okay. Just let me get the lights on. Okay. Door open. Wow, it's fucking dark in here. Alright, let's just do a quick search of the area. Other page. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Alrighty then. Okay. Oh yes, we will definitely need those supplies. Revolver and batteries. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh fuck! Oh shit, Rusty! Rusty! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. This is not good. Gotta get rid of this stuff. Um, for you guys? No, I don't. Woohoo! Woo! God damn it! Get back! You fucking spooky bitch! There we go. Burn that shit away. Rusty? Are you okay in here? Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Oh, I hope Max is okay. Please don't feed the animals. Huh? Rusty? Is fishing is over. Oh, park. oh fuck, Rusty, no. no Oh, Rusty, no. Rusty, have you been on speed lately? You've been drinking too much coffee, Rusty. God, he's moving like me when I've had too much coffee. Just zipping all over the place like a madman. Oi. Oh, hi there. Get back, ya bitch. Ya bitch. Okay. Rusty, I'm sorry. You were a good guy. But when the darkness overtakes you like that, there's not a whole lot I can do. Thankfully, I have all the revolver ammo now. You know what? There is one... Some, something's nagging me. Hang on. For honor, I want to look... Okay, can't go out there. There was a room in the the office over here. I don't know if there was anything in there. I should have checked it when I was over here, but... Wanted to check on Rusty real quick. I don't think this opens, but I could be wrong. Nope, it's locked. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta be sure to make yourself feel better, you know? Is there anything back here? I don't think I've ever checked over here before. Uh-huh. 
Well, that is really just nothing but death down there. Okay, let's move on. Let me actually check this car. Nothing on the car. I don't see anything really standing out over here. That's the good thing about the collectibles. They do kind of like stand out so you don't have to be too thorough. But it doesn't hurt to uh, be that way. Now this is going to open up now. Okay. Moving on. You okay, Bucktooth Charlie? Well, at least Bucktooth Charlie is okay. I hope Max is okay. Oh. I hope he's okay. But I don't see him. Well, let's get out of here now. Well, that's no good at all. <laughs> Drop hazard. You don't say. Ah, nice little checkpoint. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Well, at least uh, Barry kind of believes us now. You know, everybody, where I live in you, buddy, where I live in you, anyways, everybody always had these cheap little plastic chairs. Everybody and their mother has them. They probably still do. And eventually they would just get, like, banged up in, like, a storm, and you went and you bought more. Ooh, manuscript page. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Oof. Right, right in the fucking fields. Let's see. Lover's Peak this way. We are right on track. Thankfully, we have some supplies here. Ah, yes, the batteries don't need revolver ammo. We are all good. Ooh. Cool. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. This is true, but we have more of that luminescent paint, which is going to guide us this way. To the bat cave, I guess. Moonshine Cave. This cave was the site of frequent and lucrative bootlegger activity throughout the Prohibition 1919 to 1933. It was mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada, but at times alcohol was also distilled on the premise. Neat! Excuse me, bats. I am not trying to disturb your slumber here, but I am going to want to take this Good old double barrel shotgun. Aha! Flare gun ammo. Flare gun ammo. Don't need... Well, always need the batteries. Nice! Got my BFG. Got my shotgun. I think we are well equipped right now to be handle any kind of spooky shit that may be lurking in the darkness. All 
Alright, where was the door? Why did you open up towards me? That was spooky. Alright, how much for longer to go? Oh, we gotta uh, stop over here. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Eh? Oh, hi. Whoa! Whoa! Hi, 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 Get your spooky ass back! Reload, reload, keep on reloading! Well, already then. I guess it wouldn't have hurt to use a battery. Well, now after that, I gotta go take a shit. Excuse me, gentlemen. Alright, how far is our next save point? Is it just down there? Uh, I think I am going to nab that checkpoint down there, and then I am going to call it apart, ladies and gentlemen. It shouldn't take too long. Hopefully. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. There's something over here. Uh, another ambush, if I remember correctly. Manuscript page. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's much more to this area over here. Okay. Let's get out of here. Now, if I remember correctly, if you venture too far into the woods and stray from the path, you will get ambushed by Taken. I mean, you're going to get ambushed by Taken anyway, as you can hear the wind is picking up. Oh, I remember this. Should I get the shotgun out for this? Yeah, I remember this. Is there something over here? No, there's not. Okay. Yep, we're gonna get ambushed here pretty soon. Um, we'll see how it goes. But first, we're gonna go up here. Ah, nice checkpoint. Well, grab the shotgun ammo, because I'm going to need it here pretty soon. And uh, since this is a checkpoint, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it a part right here. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this part, you know what you got to do. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people <clears throat> at the next episode. You guys, <clears throat> excuse me, got something stuck in my throat. You guys have a fantastic day.